we're at the base of Palomar Mountain in San Diego County. This mountain is uh, more than a mile high. This area has been hammered in the last decade by at least two major wildfires. You can see this area is recovering nicely. Behind me on the mountain are green clumps of toyon and laurel sumac. But right here in front of us, white sage, tarweed, and the bees are working deerweed. Lots of bees on deerweed. Down here, a different color is conchalagua, zeltneria venusta, a wonderful plant here on the hillside, recovering from fires. They don't need fires for their uh, life cycle, but they come back after fires, as do most of the plants on this hillside. Conchalagua, we'll have a chance to look at it up close, and we'll be able to identify interesting reproductive parts. Here's a little Conchalagua flower. It's folded up. It goes to sleep at night, so it might be thinking this is at night. So I have to pull these petals back. They're being uncooperative. So we can see the reproductive parts. This is the stigma. It's sticky. It's designed for receiving pollen, hopefully from another flower. This is the style. Through the style becomes a pollen tube after it's been pollinated. And the pollen tube takes sperm down to the ovary, which unites with an ovule, which ultimately becomes a seed. These are the anthers. You'll notice their curly cue. These anthers produce the pollen, which will be carried by an insect off to a different stigma on a different plant. So these are the reproductive parts of conchalagua. Which, what makes conchalagua interesting are these little curly anthers. Most people don't get close enough to see those little curly anthers on conchalagua. And the wind is blowing, that's really nice. Really nice. Conchalagua. It's a wonderful flower. This interesting member of the gentian family. Very few gentians in California, but here on this hillside, one of the members of that family is just taken over. <laughs>